What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon Coin. just checking back in and this is going to be a quick little how to mine micro Bitcoin on Windows. I keep getting asked this question because I did one on how to mine it on uh, Android. Just make sure you start out at the microbitcoin.org. You're going to need a wallet. Um, currently the only one they support right now is the Android wallet. So you're going to want to grab your Android phone, go to microbitcoin.org, then click on the Android wallet. That will download the APK file. Um, it is not in the Android store yet. Uh, it's still way too new for that. Um, once you download the APK file, you're going to need to allow um, unknown sources to be able to install it because it's not from the Android store. Once you do that, install it, then you'll have a wallet. It'll ask you, um, I don't think there's actually much setup. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to restore a wallet. It, don't worry about any of that. We're not restoring it. Just open a new wallet and then get your wallet address. That'll be really important for the next step. So the next step, get on your um, your Windows machine, then go to this link, which will be down below. It's github.com, tp, blah, 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 CC Miner. You're going to want CC Miner 2.3 CUDA 9.7, and this is as of August 15, 2018. So if you're watching this way far in the future, um, just know that, yeah, you, you, there might be a newer one than that. Um, as you can see, it failed a couple times. That's because Windows Defender kept blocking it. If Windows Defender blocks it, you're going to have to open up Windows Defender and go to um, Contain Threats and Allow Threat or whatever. It, it, it false flags it as a um, some kind of virus. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to open that up. You need some sort of uh, extraction utility to get it out. It is a .7. It's not a regular zip folder. Uh, I have WinRAR from RAR Labs, um, and then all you do is just extract it, and we're going to extract it to download CC Miner 2.3. So boom, we'll do that all live action right here with you. So we're extracting it. There it is. Now we're going to go to downloads. If I get, we're freezing up, guys. C C C C C C. I got a lot of them. C C CC Miner 2.3. There it is. So you're going to open that up, um, and then a lot of people get messed up because they just start clicking on that right there. Do not click on that. Actually, what the easiest way I find is to right-click, edit, run Aeon. It doesn't really matter. You can pick run any of these. Um, and what you're more interested in replacing is this string right here, this top string. Um, leave a space and then leave the pause. And what you're going to put in there is, let me see if I still had it copied. Yes, I did. All right, so I have this new string line. It is set up to mine through the subscriber pool. Um, the only thing you're gonna after I'll put this down in the, in the description also. The only thing you have to make sure to change is this right here. This is my wallet address. You're gonna have to put your wallet address in there so you mine to yourself. Um, and I'll actually show you how to check that after you start mining yourself. So you put your your wallet address there, uh, and then you go file save as mbtc.bat the dot bat is the most important part so you save that close that out um, and then you got mbtc.bat right here it's a windows batch file currently right now i have a rx570 on this system so cc miner will not work for it uh, if i open it it'll just like unable see there's no cuda no nvidia um, but in here but uh, after you click that it should go up and start running and start hashing away and to actually check on your statistics then you go to subscriberpool.com I'll put that link down below in the description also um, by doing this and having my name in that string line tag it helps me out um, as a portion of the fees come to me uh, or you can you can go buy mine by micro Bitcoin somewhere else you don't have to do it under me but since you're watching this I'd, I'd appreciate it um, but the fees are relatively low, I believe. Fees on it are half a percent, so not bad at all. Now, to check your statistics, you're going to want to go to Wallet. Wallet. You're going to... My internet's really slow to get today, guys. I'm, I don't know what's going on. It's actually been acting up a lot lately. Come on. Wallet. What if I open it in a new address or a new window? Okay, there it is. 
All right, so yeah, I have all these wallets down below. If you've never been here before, it'll actually just show up with nothing and you'll have to put a wallet address in right here. That's where you paste your wallet address in. After you paste it in, you click submit um, and then it'll come up and look like this. So this is somebody else's wallet address that I was helping them get set up. They have, what is it? Uh, they have a million and 82,762 micro Bitcoin and it doesn't look like they're even mining it anymore. So they mined a million and then pulled off. But the way you read it is you come down here, the miners, your miners will be listed, the hash rate, reject rate, um, and uh, it'll have your 24-hour balance. It'll, you'll see your payouts, uh, micro Bitcoin pending, total paid, total earned. Um, it's really simple. Yeah, so if you have any questions, free, please just comment down below or jump over to the Discord. Link for the Discord is down below in the description also. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is Brandon on Brandon Coin, and I'll see you guys tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live stream.